Welcome to the Bilsa Show, eh? Friggin' right, boys and girls. Hopefully everybody's having a good weekend. Today it's Sunday and it's raining and cockier than cocks out. Cockier than cocks out, boys. How's that even possible? But hey, I've come up with some strange cock words I have and uh, you just gotta follow me along, you do. Why wouldn't you? But uh, I just wanna start off with a serious note here, peoples. I'm no profesh on the old YouTubes, eh? I've only got 3,000 some subs, so I'm no profesh. But I do learn quickly, I do. And I just wanna take a moment here to shout out all the channels that I love. Friggin' right. Like, I, I've got Pat's channel, I'll put the link below. I got Kevin Talbert's channel, I'll put the link below. McFarlane, I'll put the link below. I watch Amazing, I watch Little Trailer Big Adventures, I watch Godforsaken Customs. You know, boys, the list goes on. 320 videos. A bunch of RC guys, I watch Steve-O's channel. Hopefully I remember to put all the links below, but I do. Friggin' right I do. And I just want to uh, say, boys, when it comes to haters, you can't even acknowledge them. I don't have any haters that I know of, eh? Frig no, I don't. And if I do, I must ignore them pretty good because I don't even realize they're there. Freaking right. You gotta remember, when you're doing the old YouTubes, you're always gonna have haters, boys. Haters are part of the game, they are. And they'll call you fat and ugly and whatever, insult your family, do whatever they wanna do just to get a rise out of you. So either just delete the comment if it bothers you or totally ignore it. But if you mention a comment or anything like that on your channel, it just fuels their fire boys so one thing I've learned real quick by YouTube is ignore the haters boys I don't have many thank God but even if I did I just I don't know hey I don't even pay attention so I just wanted to uh, say that real quick because I know that some people have a really hard time ignoring haters but boys I'm telling you remember when you're in school when you're young if you were the bully you still had haters on you if you were the person being bullied you had lots of haters so it happens in life doesn't matter if it's youtube real life school whatever it's gonna happen so what you need to do to overcome that is just keep on walking boys and don't even acknowledge it because if you acknowledge it they'll know it and they'll love it freaking right they will hey I remember, I was a bully for a while and then I realized I was an ass, so I stopped that stuff. And then I got bullied too a little bit and it happens boys, hey, it's all part of life. There's nothing we can do about it. So I just wanted to start off a video with that, just to clarify because I know that it's really hard not to mention haters sometimes, especially when you're live streaming hey, Pat. Freaking right, but remember, fuck them, hey? Don't even let them know you're there, boys. And that's all I can say. But on a good note, to put a new bearing in the old X-Max Ruski, I did. So it's uh, kind of ready to go, boys. I blew the back bearing right out of this thing. It was real easy to change, it was. I got it done in less than five minutes, boys, so there was no point in even recording. <laughs> On the old T-Rex 4 here, as you boys know that are that are RC fans, I took out the old the old steering arm there. So I got aluminum one I gotta go pick up at Dennis's. I got some other parts I gotta pick up at Dennis's. And then we'll get this thing going again. She needs a wash job, I'll tell you that. We're gonna put aluminum one in there because I got a steel servo and that should hopefully make it last a little longer, boys. This one here, this is the uh, Axiel. I put a bigger gear in it so I get a little bit more speed out of her, but there's only one screw holding the motor. So last night, one of the girls were driving it and the motor's just kind of moved a little bit. So we just got to take that apart. I'm going to put the original gear back in it so I can get both screws in the motor and hopefully she'll be good to go. So that one's down right now. Holy, what's really going on? Seats. Why wouldn't it be? The UDR, it's ready to go. It's downstairs. Just got to put the body back on it. The slash Ruski, like I said, I gotta go to Dennis's and get some parts, and then I can finish putting that back together. I'm waiting for that shaft, remember boys? In that last video I did there, if you don't remember, check it out. It's um that one. It's called Let me have a look here, boys, see if I can find it. Uh new RC body, but slash is in brutal shape. That's the video right there. Where's my little Papa Ruski? Look at this, hey! How you doing, bud? How you doing, eh? We gotta take her in and make sure she doesn't have worms because her stomach's really bloated. Like, it feels like it's gonna pop. Look at it. Eh, you got a poppy stomach? Yeah, your heart's just a pounding. What are you doing today? You know? Say hi. Hello. How you doing? Yeah, so you haven't seen that broken shaft? Go check that out. Why wouldn't you, eh? Freaking right, boys. Other than that, I had an interruption from the girls again, so I don't even know if I'm gonna repeat myself. It's raining and just crappy out today. So like I said, hopefully I'm gonna sit in here and find something to tinker on and maybe go see Dennis and get some parts. Mark's coming over. He is one of my buddies and we might go together. We might. We'll have to see what happens. We will. So anyways, if you have anything you'd like me to do or show you, leave your comments below and make sure you subscribe and like too. Why wouldn't you? Always subscribe and like, boys. Frig, I wish it wasn't raining today. It's the only day I have free and it's raining. 
So I'm cocked right over. Frick sakes. Should maybe go get the amplifier out of the old Vanarooski there and uh, see if we can't get it working right. Hey! There's another question. If anybody in Canada that watches my videos knows where to get electronics fixed, let me know. Because I, I like to drop that amplifier off and actually get it fixed properly. Instead of me cobble fucking it together. Cobble screwing it together, boys. I'm not very good at cobble screwing stuff together like that. I don't really like getting into boards and stuff like that. It's just a little far away from my doodad. That's why I sent the old controller for the old Easy Go there a way to get fixed. Because I don't want to touch them, boys. And the Easy Go, we're still waiting for a motor we are. But she's in rough shape, I was told. So I don't know, man. I don't know if we'll get her back and she'll work or not. We'll have to frig wait and see. Frig, damn golf cart. That thing was a waste of money, boys. I got hosed on that. I got kajijied, I did. Might have to offload her for what I got into her. If the motor works, because I'm not buying batteries for it. Forget it. They're too expensive. Man, you're looking at six, six volts for that thing, boys. At two hundred and sixty-seven dollars or two hundred and fifty-six bucks a crack or something. Still, you're like twelve hundred bucks in freaking batteries for that thing. Two grand in that cart, and it's only worth probably twenty-five hundo. You fat free. Yeah, I wasn't thinking too good on that deal, was I? Leave a comment below if you know anybody looking for an easy go that they want to fix up, boys. Right now, once the motor's back, I've got the new controller for it, and the motor, as long as it works, a loft loader for eight hundred bucks, boys. So if you know anybody looking for an easy go that just needs batteries for eight hundred bones, let me know. In the comments below why wouldn't you but uh other than that i haven't got much else to tell you today except for i put uh the old ox beam square lights on the back bumper of the old silverado because the ones i got there and did a review on there for you a little while ago i contacted them and i told them el junco one quit within two days and the other one quit within a week boys so uh stay away from the knd led work lights they're only 18 dollars if you're going to use them inside or somewhere dry i'm sure they'll be all right but uh other than that, El Junco. So I kind of cocked over that company I did, but they kind of sent me crap. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to tell you the freaking truth about shit I am. If it's junk, it's junk. What do you want me to do? Lie? Oh, this is good stuff. No, it's not. It's garbage. So don't send me garbage and expect me to do a good review on it. If you want a good review, you got to send me something that at least works a couple months, boys. Not a week or two days. Right? If it works for a week or two days, it's garbage, boys. <laughs> it's all there is to it. 20 bucks, 20 bucks, man. I know some places you go for 20 bucks and get a hell of a lot more than that. For 20 bucks? All right, I do. Tickle your fancy, you would. If any companies out there want to send me some products, don't send me products that are junk, because I have to be honest with you guys. And if I'm honest, it's the only way to do it. Like, Gearbest sent me that little Hellfire, Hellfire friggin' little drone. It still works, but it's just, I haven't played with it, boys. But it still works, so it's worth the money. Like, it's, it works. It's cheap, but it works, right? So that's good to go. But lights, no goody. No friggin' goody, boys. Another thing I want to mention, my X-Max. If you know, I haven't looked into it yet, so I'll probably figure it out. But if you know and you've had this problem, let me know below. Why wouldn't you? The X-Max, when it's on, it wants to just creep forward a little bit. I've tried the, the you know, the gain on the old the old uh, controller there, the sensitivity gain. I've turned it all the way down and whatnot, this one here. And it still just wants to creep forward until I just touch the reverse, then it stops. So I don't know if it's a grounding issue in the ESC or if it's because a wire come off and maybe it damaged some internals on a little bit and it's just got a little glitch now, but... Let me know below if you had the same problem. I am using a hobby wing with the Max 5. Let me know if you've had the same problem with the old Max 5 Aruski. Why wouldn't you? And then maybe we can figure it out together. Why wouldn't you? Hey, freaking right, boys. I think that's about all I have to say today. It is. So I'm hoping everybody has a good day like me and not doing anything I didn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now.